All right, welcome to day 37 of our journey to Platinum here in Elden Ring. Uh, today we are going to be wrapping up Syophra. I am nearly positive that we will be able to wrap up this area today. Uh, I was thinking that we might be able to yesterday, and then as I was <laughs> then as I was exploring, I realized the area was a good bit bigger than I was thinking. And overall, it's I mean it's not massive, and if I was just kind of like if we were being casual here, then it'd be super easy to do in probably an episode, maybe. Uh, maybe an episode and a half, but with with all this deep deep exploration There's there's no way that you can do this in two episodes. It's just it's too much So we should be able to wrap this up today. That's that's what I'm thinking um, So I uh, I'm gonna go through the lake portion today And I need to be real cautious with the blue bubble orb things because clearly after yesterday I learned that they are no joke and also the crabs down here are no joke either, so I gotta be cautious with these two. But I'm much less threatened by the crabs than I am by the blue orbs. The blue orbs are, like I said, seriously, seriously no freaking joke. And so I need to be real cautious. But yeah, we're gonna go through the entirety of the water portion today. I think that's pretty much all that's left. And there should be one more... Uh, fire monument to light and then that should open up the boss fight and we'll be able to head in there and I, I don't I'm not sure how close the file the final fire monument is to here but even once I have it we'll, we'll wrap up the entire lake portion before running back here and actually entering the boss room because I'd like the boss to be the very last thing I do down here before we bounce and, uh, and then after everything's done completely down here, we'll be heading to Liurnia. Because it is finally time to conquer that. Because, obviously, before I was sort of on the fence for a while there about which order we were going to take things. I was going to go Liurnia, and then I ended up deciding to go Kaled, and then Kaled kicked my butt a little bit, so then we came down here. And so once this is done, the next order of business will be Liurnia. And, uh... And I'm excited for that. It's been a while since I've gone through Liurnia, and uh, I really enjoy the area. It's it's still, as I mentioned before, probably, in my opinion, the prettiest area in the entire game. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Man, yeah, seriously, those things, if they make contact, it's, it's basically game over for you. Man. <coughs> Excuse me again. Just like last episode, it's these, it's these allergies, man. All right, I'm gonna sprint around this one. I think if I, oh shoot! Oh my goodness, I'm gonna. <coughs> what is happening? Holy crap! It feels like I've got like. It feels like someone shoved a cotton ball up my nose. Um. I just, <clears throat> I just walk the dog. So it's like anytime I go outside at this point. Whether it's I, whether I'm mowing, whether I'm walking the dog, whatever it may be, it's like I'm just allergic to, to the sun. Speaking of which, have you, have you seen? I remember this was this was a, I feel like it circulated online, years and years ago now. Uh, maybe, I feel like it was like ten years ago at this point. The girl that had the condition where she was essentially it, it boiled down to essentially allergic to the sun i think it was was a, a little different than just just an allergy but that's got to be rough and and she would basically just break out in these this like awful rash anytime she would go outside all right i'm gonna sprint 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 uh and yeah i remember that from years ago i think i think they may have featured it on TLC or something, and I'm not a fan of TLC, but I remember that TLC for a little while had uh, some videos that just got super popular on YouTube. So I think I remember seeing it on there, or maybe just been on the news or something. And then the... I feel like I've, I've heard people talk about someone allergic to... Or, again, like a similar type of situation, but in regards to water, but that's that's gotta be a complete lie, I would think. Because you... You wouldn't be able to live. You'd be allergic to 80% of yourself. So, I don't know if I buy that. But if there's any 
if there's any water allergists out there, I'd love to hear from you. Okay, so all this back here, that's that's good. Uh, and then... Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's a whole section back there where there's a... Uh, I forgot, there's a merchant over there. I gotta go check that out, too. Um, but I'm gonna continue on through all this over here first. I'm gonna sprint past this one. If I just walk around the edge here, I should be safe. Man, those things are the worst. Because the thing is, they... It, it didn't... When I got hit a, a couple minutes ago... It didn't hurt quite as bad as I thought that it would. Because I think yesterday when I died to one of those, I think what happened is I, because of the way that I was running and because it caught me off guard, I think what happened was it hit me and it staggered me and then it hit me a couple more times. So I think it's maybe two to three times it has to, or three to four times it has to hit you for it to kill you. But because it sort of stun locks you, it feels like it makes it kind of easy for the blue orbs of death to, to to kill you if you're just not paying attention. And so, much, much and many cautions are advised. And did I, I think I went, I'm pretty sure I went up here the other day, right? I mean, it never hurts to come grab another Trina's Lily. So, I will grab that real fast. But yeah, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I came up here. He also dropped... Dwelling arrows. I think that that's pretty much all that that they drop. I haven't From what I can remember picked anything else up from them, but that could be a False statement that might not be true life That I'm providing you information about Man and there are a lot like there are so many do kissed herba down here just in the time that I've been down here What have what am I up to? over the past couple episodes 386 compared to all the time that we spent above ground. Only 196 herba. And I know I've crafted some stuff with the regular herba, but not that much stuff. So it's insane how much you're provided with down here. That looks like the same exact thing as where the golden seeds are. That one's just not golden. Kind of threw me off for a second. And I, I guess maybe they give you so much dew kissed because of the fact that it's a relatively small area, but I don't know. It feels it feels a bit excessive with how much I've got. Oh wait, is that the is that the monument over there that I've got a light, or is that not is that not one of? Oh yeah, it is right there. Okay, so that's that should be the last one. Ooh, he almost he almost got me with that. Get out here with that noise, my friend. All right, so this should be the last one that I need to light, and we'll we're almost. Yeah, where that scaffolding ends is, is pretty much the end. Power gathers somewhere in Horned Remains. Um, yeah, where that scaffolding is pretty much should be the end of the water section, and then we'll be able to run back and take on the boss in the Horned Remains. The Horned Remains themselves. And uh, and like I've mentioned, it's a it's a really cool boss. I think that it's it's not even that it's. It's not that it's super difficult or anything. It's not that it's even all that... I don't really know what the right wording is. All that special. Like, the design isn't crazy. But I think because of the boss arena and because of the music that goes along with it, it just the whole vibe of the boss fight is really, really cool to me. So I'm excited to go fight it here in a little bit. And, uh... And that's another one. It's been it's been a long time since I've fought that boss. From what I can remember, I think it's I think it's called the Ancestral Follower. I think even though it's basically just a massive deer of some kind and it, it has got some serious antlers on it, let me tell you. Some serious antlers and they're there are a lot of land octopus here. So I'm going to go through and wipe the... Did he just jump at me? I swear, I'm pretty sure he jumped, but he just jumped at nothing. I saw him launch himself over there, one of the big ones. So I'm going to take all of these... Are there three of them? Oh, there are three of the big ones. Okay, so I'm going to take all this stuff out, and then I want to head back into this area where, like I said, I'm pretty sure there's... A merchant over there, if I'm remembering correctly. So I'm gonna go over there and check that out. See what he's got. 
What are what are these? Are these nascent nascent? Yeah, nascent butterflies. Oh well, ah. hello. Uh, okay, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Ooh, okay. That was really close. I'm gonna I'm gonna sling some flame at you real fast. It actually does a lot of damage to the the itty bitty ones, the little guys. Man, the flail works so much better against these guys. It's actually insane, and I don't really know why it does. When I haven't used this attack in a while. Ooh, okay. There you go. For a second, I was like, I stopped swinging. I was thinking that was it, and he just continued to survive. He's a survivor. Oh my goodness. It's some I just randomly got hit with with a memory from years and years ago when I was a kid. Um, so that song, that old song, I will survive. I don't I don't know what this exactly. Oh my goodness! His gosh. Um, there was some sort of just in the early days of the internet. I guess this would have been probably. Maybe 2003 or 4, I, and I know really the internet was around before that, but early days when it was like, it wasn't that common for people to be on the internet and, and stuff like that. Um, and YouTube obviously wasn't a thing quite yet. There was some sort of maybe fan-made music video or something like that for, for I Will Survive. And I don't remember all of the context of it. I'll have to find the video. I'm, I'm, I'm positive it still exists. But it was essentially like a fan-made video with this weird alien thing. And the song, it only makes it into maybe... Maybe right after the first chorus or something. And a, like a planet drops on the alien. It's the, it's the weirdest thing. And I remember as a little kid, that video used to make me ball my eyes out it, it i was so sad that the this alien thing was just randomly like she looked so happy and then she was just killed by a planet and like she is crushed like there's there's nothing left of her after this this planet or or no maybe it was a disco ball maybe it's a disco ball that drops on her whatever it was i highly recommend going and finding the video cuz it's it's kind of a weird one and it was a bit scarring for me as a child. I remember my, my parents, so mean, I, they used to play it because they knew, like not to be mean, but just because, you know, when a, when a kid is does something funny, you kind of like, you try to replicate it. So they would, they would play it to see if it would make me cry again. Kind of, kind of messed up. And, uh, I don't know. It might make me cry to this day. I don't, it's it's not it's not exactly fun watching some living creature just get absolutely demolished by a disco ball. I might need to pull out some boluses just in case I get poisoned in here. But I think I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna risk it. I guess I think I'm just gonna not even worry about it. And I need to the reason I. I yeah, he's gonna he's gonna want to do it again. I need to keep my fireball out for the purpose of stopping him when he does that. It's probably easier being off of horseback when fighting these, so that you do have the option to hit it with fire and the option to hit it with with melee. Cause I feels like that's the easiest. Oh well, crap! I'm out of FP. I was gonna say it feels like that's the easiest way to deal with these. Is when they when they go to either secrete poison. Or to send out their star field like that. Yeah, you just hit him with fire and it stops it. There you go. I just don't want him to slam his face down again, because I would be probably dead. Okay, cool. Uh, you know what, and I need to... I keep, I, I keep totally forgetting that I have heal now. And now that I'm... Now that I have enough flasks to be able to have three... Cerulean flasks on me. I feel like I need to be using my heal incantation more. I just keep totally forgetting about it. Yeah, okay, so I think we access the merchant. I can actually hear him playing. You can hear him playing his 
his like violin thing. So we access him from the scaffolding, I believe. I can't get to him from down here. Smithing stone four. I've got a good good amount of smithing stone fours now, which I don't really need yet. I kind of want to maybe after we get done with everything here, it might not be a bad idea to let me see. How many do I have? Oh, I still only have three smithing stone threes, so never mind. I was going to say it wouldn't be a bad idea to go back to round table hold and, and level up my flail, but that's not going to happen because I think that right now... So it takes you up to plus nine, now I'm at plus seven. So I probably need like f at least three or four of those, right? To be able to to level it up, I would think. But I could be wrong. Uh, okay, so all that over there is good. Every now and then I feel like I have to just stop and, and take inventory of what we walked through so that I don't miss anything. Because, wow, yeah, see, look at that. Look at all the herba in that one spot. It's so much. It is so, so much. And I don't, I don't know that I've actually gotten any cookbooks yet that even allow me to craft anything with these. I'm not sure that they're even useful for me yet. I'm going to run past this guy real fast. Sprint up here. Oh man. Saw that come through the come through the screen. Alright. Ton more so much dew kissed herba around here. Just trying to get all of it. And I feel like as I see these, I should run past them and eliminate them. So that they're out of the way. Ooh, that was kinda close. That grazed torrent's tail. My goodness. And then we've still got this this other land octopi over here. He should be the last one besides the, the small ones. Looked like he was raising himself up again, though. Or she was. Raising herself up to jump at me, but she was not. She's going to know about me in a second here, though. Yeah, even this, even this water portion, there's... I mean, like, we're, what, like 15 minutes in or so? 16 minutes? And... Even this water portion has a decent amount of stuff to explore. You know what sucks is I don't have my... Right, would you stop flailing? Like, you gotta be kidding me. You're pissing me off. Oh, my frickin' goodness. I don't have my Flame of Frenzy anymore. I should, I should put my Flame of Frenzy back on. But yeah, I was saying that even this water portion has a decent amount to explore. Like I said, we'll still be able to wrap up today, but it's just... There's a there's a good bit down here. Thank you. My goodness. That was pissing me off. If you stay that far away, I guess, apparently it just keeps going with all that BS. And just flails and flails and... And jumps. My gosh. Because like I said, I feel like I was able to deal with the big ones way, way easier with the flail. And that's what's kind of disappointing is I love this weapon so much and it sucks that it has, it just doesn't deal with them all that well. Unless it's just that maybe, maybe I need to approach them with this weapon differently. I can't maybe tank it as much as I could with the flail or something. I don't, I don't really know. But that is that is a little bit of a disappointment that doesn't work as well. All right, and I apologize. I, I feel like I'm doing the thing that I always do where I'm sort of backtracking. I'm walking through the same areas again because I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything. All right, keep on sprinting. Run circle, run circles. Yeah, circles seem to definitely be the best way to deal with those because they can't... They, they can only... seems like they can only fling in one direction at once. So, because of that, there's no way, if you're going in a circle around it, there's no way for it to actually hit you. Because it can only, it can only go essentially across, like, a horizontal... Well, it can kind of go vertical, because when I jumped up here earlier, it, it, it went in sort of a vertical path. But it can only, it can only go in one direction at once. So, that seems to be the best way to, to deal with that. And I'm going to quickly... Uh, I'm gonna quickly heal. Oh, actually, I'm gonna move away. I was gonna say I was gonna heal before I dealt with that thing. And then it started getting too close for comfort. 
Yeah, so see, that does, I mean, that does a decent amount of health, I guess. Bringing, bringing your health back up. Okay, sprint, sprint, sprint. Ooh, caught Torn's tail a little bit there. Heal you up there, buddy. Yeah, since I still have this, this basically early game Roa fruit, it'll be nice being able to get the next step up, so it'll be a little easier to heal Torrent. And I don't know how close we are to that, because I, I, I don't remember at all which cookbook. Well, actually, wait a second. Aren't I still... Yeah, I just still have the Roa Raisin. And I think the next one is... Can't remember what the next one is called actually but then i know eventually you get to i think it's i don't know i can't remember i know that eventually you get like frozen roa but i don't remember if it's like frozen frozen roa raisin or or what like i don't remember how that how that progresses exactly i'm just burn past this guy circle 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 oh shoot oh shoot oh shoot 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 Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, roll. Please roll. Please roll. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. And the dragon. You've got to be kidding me. Stop it with that. Goodness, that was almost really bad. That was almost very bad. And I don't think that I explored all of this back portion yesterday uh, behind these pillars. I can't remember if I made it all the way over here. So I'm going to go explore this possibly for the second time real fast. Just to be sure that we've got everything. It's all about it's all about the completion. We're 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 going completionist here. Brick. Okay, that was risky. Cause he could have he could have hit me there at the end, and that totally would have killed me. Alright, I'm gonna come back and deal with this guy real fast. I know I killed him yesterday, but I'd still rather get him out of here before checking this back section of water. Frick! I tried to... I totally thought I rolled in time. I don't know why. I don't know why. Like, I'm getting... I'm getting frustrated today. <laughs> like, it, I'm actually getting frustrated as some of these things are hitting me and stuff. And usually I don't get all that frustrated. Alright. Problem solved. Just gonna... Just gonna cool it. Just gonna... Just gonna slow my roll. Relax my horses. Take a chill pill. Cool off. Reset. Alright, so in between here, though, that's good. Yeah, I think this section back here, now that I look at it, I think all of this was done yesterday. And then, basically, now we just need to get into the scaffolding, I would say. Because this whole section out here is, is done. Alright, and there's a couple... I think there might be a couple entrances here. Unless there's nothing actually... Yeah, it looks like there's nothing actually in this room. Okay, so nothing in this room. I think surrounding this, I already already checked the surroundings yesterday. So I think my only option really is to go up the stairs. And then, like I said, that should lead me to where that merchant is at. From what I remember. I think that... I keep thinking that I see items. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that... This will lead me up to where the merchant is at as we as we climb this ladder. It'll lead me over inside of these pillars right through there, I believe. And then hopefully there's some good stuff up here too. Maybe some items. Oh, there's there's a there's a friend up here. Can I when I'm? I wasn't sure how much I could stagger him when I'm not on horseback. I don't know how much that affects it. Crap! I'm gonna. Dang it! Dang it. Oh, there's a second one there. I need to be aware of that when I go over there. Oh, and he's glowing. Hopefully, he's still glowing when I go back. Because that means he'll drop more runes. And today, I'm not making the mistake that I made yesterday of not picking up my runes. Because I'm just being clueless and distracted. I wonder, now that I think about it, it might be smarter to not go from this direction. It might actually be better to go from the other grace. Uh, just because I really don't want to get caught by any of these any of these orbs on my way back over. Because that's 10k I had on me. Okay, but it looks like if I just 
keep going like this right up through the middle, I should be okay. I saw one of the guys with a bow, though, and I really cannot deal with that. Okay, alright, I'm good. I'm back, I'm back. And I've been fighting all of these ancestral followers uh, on horseback, so I think I'm just not used to to their attack patterns. There you go, okay. Because I've been kind of just strafing them when I've been on horseback. Ooh, that does good, wow, that does really good damage against them. I should definitely, if I get myself in a pickle, I should definitely, definitely use that attack. Then all this stuff back here, stuff that was done yesterday, I grabbed that grace over there. And I don't think that on the bases of any of these pillars, I don't think there's any more items. I think I've pretty much checked all of that too. So on our way up, on the way up, I wonder if the guy that was perched up here that came down the ladder, I wonder if he had a bow on him. Because if he did, he could hit you from a lot of areas. Like, a lot of different spots as you're walking around if the one up here had a bow. Alright, this is kind of a useless platform. Dropping again. And then... Yeah, and then this... Oh! So is it behind... Is he behind the waterfall? Yeah, I think he's... Well, I guess, yeah, duh. He is technically behind the waterfall. Because that little room where I... Where I fought the Miranda flower is kind of behind the waterfall. So... Or kind of to the... Kind of to the side of the waterfall, I guess I should say. I'm hoping to... Since I've got 10,000 runes on me right now. I'm hoping that I have enough golden runes in my inventory to be able to actually get a level before I go into the boss fight. I'm hoping I can just bust all the runes and uh, and level up so that I don't run the risk of wasting anything. And yeah, this is literally behind the waterfall. Even though it looks weird from back here. It's like transparent. Are there any drop-downs here? Doesn't look like it. Wait a second. Oh, never mind. Okay, there was a spot that we went yesterday, I believe, that looked just like this. But it was it was different. It was a whole, whole different area. Because I think it was back near... Oh, yeah, it was that upper portion where the transport gate took me. Near the, the uh, dragon skin soldier. There's a section that looked just like this up in the rocks. Alright. This guy's really tucked away. He's probably one of the most tucked away merchants in the game, I would think. Hello there. It's funny, because some of the merchants, they say the whole thing about how, like, Oh, I can't believe you found me in this back portion of the world. And this guy literally has the most right to say that. Okay, so soap, oil pot, and roped oil pot. That's cool. Oh, and the... He's got a larval tier. Oh, there's another one here, too. 17 and 18. Dappled cured meat and dappled white cured meat. So you got 17 and 18. Uh, what is this? Shottle. Spinning slash. Skill favored by dexterous warriors slash foes. So a curved sword with a severely hooked blade. It at its attack can slip through an enemy's guard. Made to hunt down humans, this weapon requires high dexterity to wield effectively. 19 dex. Doesn't have any blood loss, though. And the physical attack is really not that great, so I'm not super interested in that. Soap. Uh, so this cleans off filth and other accumulations of the body while also slightly reducing poison buildup. Filth covering the extent exterior eventually seeps inside soiling one's very spirit i guess i'll i mean now that i i can craft those already but i'll go ahead and buy each of those i think i'm gonna buy the well i pretty much used all of my runes at this point holy crap i didn't realize this cookbook costs six grand wow i mean i needed it regardless but and how many i only have seven of those is it worth buying any of that i don't know I do feel like... Okay, let me see what this is real fast. I feel like maybe instead of worrying about a level now that I've used all those runes... Oh, crap. I forgot that that, that thing respawned because I died. Hopefully he can't hit me over here. 
Um, I'm wondering if I should pop all this stuff and just buy stuff from him. Because having that larval tier probably wouldn't be a bad idea. But at the same time, I was just talking yesterday about how I typically don't need larval tiers that much. So maybe I'll wait on that, and if I ever need one, I'll just, I need to remember to come back. I've got four stone sword keys right now. So maybe we'll buy one stone sword key. And then maybe I'll buy, I'll go ahead and, I'm going to buy the larval tier. I'm just going to do it. I'll go ahead and buy that. And then, so if I ever need a few nascent butterflies, I could come here, but I should be able to find more throughout the world. A couple stone sword keys he's still got. I've got the larval tier, got both of those. So the only things I could ever really need to come back for are probably the stone sword keys. If I ever need extras. Uh, and now that I've got that, what what does it take? Let me see. So the oil pot, melted mushroom. So I've gotten a lot of those down here. Uh, let me see. Then what was... This is melted mushroom and string. And then for soap... Oh, it's also melted mushroom. Okay. But then, wasn't there... What was the other thing that I got the ability to craft? I feel like there was something else, too. Was it the rancer pot? It may have been. I don't know. But, but I know that there was also maybe this. So golden roa, I... Yeah, so we still have to get towards the capital before I'll be able to find that. So all four of these things I can't even craft yet because I still haven't gotten to the areas where there's Golden Roa. Okay, cool. So that is sorted out. That took me a little longer with him than I thought because, I don't know. No matter what, I would have bought those those cookbooks because I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I have every cookbook by the end of the game. But I did not realize that one cost six grand. It's pretty pretty wild. And um, and then also again, I probably didn't really need the larval tier, but since since I was here, I figured it it didn't really hurt. Didn't really hurt to purchase it. All right, so I think I think that I'm done in this area. I think that we're good to just go and fight the boss. So, I guess let's run out of here. I could just fast travel back. Yeah, see, he does. That that one does kind of just jump for no reason. Crazy guy. So, now I'm actually happy that there's so much Dewkissed Herba down here because of the fact that... I mean, having soap is, is useful. So... Or wait, no, but that was actually... Now that I think about it, no, that was... The, the mushrooms is what you need for the soap. So, then... Maybe I still don't have anything that needs Dewkissed. I don't know, unless there was something that I, I overlooked. Alright, so let's do this. I think, and now I'm, I'm really wanting to collect the, the mushrooms because of the, of the soap. Every time I pass it. So let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and rest. And just, just kind of get everything back. I don't even know that I used... Am I, am I at six flasks? I don't even need any flasks back. Uh, but it's probably a good idea to rest anyway. And then we'll go up and we'll we'll deal with this boss. And there's no reason to level, obviously, since I just spent a whole bunch of money, a whole bunch of runes on that merchant. Which may have not been the greatest of decisions, but it's all right. Probably needed that stuff anyway. Hollowhorn Grounds. Just want to see if there's any items around this room before we actually head into the boss room. Because I for yeah, I forgot that there was a whole little section out along the edge. So naturally, I'm gonna have to come out here and check all of these all of these edges before really going in and, and giving this guy the smackdown. I know typically in in rooms like this, like in boss rooms, I mean this isn't the boss room. But I know typically in areas like this, there's no items. But it still just always makes me feel better to check anyway. Yeah, it looks like there is absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing in here. Alright, so let's go 
deal with this. I don't think that it sends me right into the boss room. So I'm gonna, without popping anything, I'm gonna, yeah, good, okay. Does not send you right in. Can I call Torrent here? I cannot, okay. And I don't think that there's any items here. Pretty sure it's just skeletal remains. And, all right. So I guess let's do this. This is a massive boss door. And the boss room is absolutely ginormous. And so I think, I don't think I'm going to use poison. I think I'm going to try fire. And then... I wonder if a different... For this, I think that maybe having blessed dew could possibly be a good idea. But I don't remember what type of attacks it does. In terms of if one of these drake talismans would be best i guess once i go in there i can i mean i don't have to beat it the first time so i could come back out and work this out but i think for the time being i'm gonna put blessed dew on actually i think i'm gonna do this i'd rather have higher stamina recovery all right cool so let's pop this i'm gonna bite down on some exalted flesh put some fire grease on and then let's do this so this was one of those bosses that I'm pretty sure my first playthrough, I'm pretty sure I was kind of far over leveled for. So I'm curious how I'm going to do with this, and if this is going to be a super, super pain in the butt, or if it's going to just be simple. Oh, actually, I do pretty good damage. That was one hit. Oh, shoot. I think, is that sleep? I think that's, maybe that's sleep that it... It's trying to inflict. Man, the, here's the problem. I feel like... I feel like it's hard to even get hits. Dang it, yeah, like... That, that is probably going to be the most annoying thing about this. The thing is, he doesn't... I guess he doesn't move that all that fast, though. Crap. Alright, I'm curious to see... Dang it. That that hurts a lot. I'm gonna heal. Crap. That's probably one of the biggest threats right there. Crap. Okay, so then that can reach back around. I'm probably gonna die here. Nope, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, so that just fires everything down towards the ground. So yeah, now that my fire is gone, let me see how much damage I do. A little bit less, it looks like. Crap. Way too early dodge. Oh, okay, that was a... Alright, so I gotta remember that when I'm behind... When I'm behind it, it kicks. Okay, what is it doing? Crap. It's doing a charge. Okay. Okay. This is going alright. It's not going great, though. Get out of that. See, I just, I think this is such a cool boss fight. I love, love, love the music for it. I think the music is super, super cool for this. I keep forgetting that that's what that, that is. I keep thinking that it's going to drop down. Okay, that's kind of easy to dodge if you do it right. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then it went with the back kick. Yeah, what is that? I, I haven't really been right in the line of fire of that. I don't really understand what it does, I guess. Alright, and roll. Nice. Okay. Alright, and it's just gonna spew that. Like I said, I think it's it's gotta be sleep, right? That makes the most sense, I think. I'm close, I'm close. Dang it. Not a good roll. It's gonna back kick. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get out from this. Cause yeah, if it if if that is what it does, regardless of what it does, I don't wanna I, I don't wanna deal with it. I don't wanna be in the middle of it. But if it's uh if it's sleep, that would really suck, cause 
Because, yeah, if I fell asleep in the middle of this boss fight, that would be real bad. All right. We get a trophy for that. Sweet. Ancestral Follower Ashes. And I got, what, like 13, 13k for that? That's not too bad. And then, from what I remember, there's absolutely nothing in this boss room. It's a huge boss room. I mean, this is massive. But I don't think there's anything that I need in here. So... All right, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the entrance. I think it'll just drop me right back out near where the where the corpse was. Yeah, there you go. So then, does anything happen with this? If I touch it again, I think it'll just send me back in, right? Oh, do you have to be on the front of it? You do have to be. Oh, because you got to touch the horns. That's right. So yeah, I think it just, I think it'll just, yeah, it sends me right back in. So I don't really know... I might have to look into that if there's a reason to come back in here. Because I would kind of think that once you kill it, the corpse would just no longer be glowing and you wouldn't even have access to this room anymore. But it's kind of making me curious, and I can't call Torrent, so I don't really want to do this, but it's kind of making me curious if I'm forgetting if there is another, like another door out of here. I'm fairly positive that there's not, but I guess real quickly, maybe I'll just kind of run along the edge just to double check. And if there's not, then then there's not. Uh, all that we've really done is just wasted everyone's time. So, that's perfect. But yeah, like I said, I'm fairly positive that I remember checking all along this in my first playthrough and there was nothing. So, I don't think that there's really anything. But overall, that so that fight... I feel like it's a pretty easy fight. I don't feel that it has any attack that's crazy. I think that I think that maybe as it as it hits you with its horns, that's probably the one that I find to be the most dangerous because of the fact that it it swings its head 3 times and if it gets you all 3 times, like it could potentially kill you. But as long as your dodge timings are are okay, then then you're, I mean, you're, you're totally good. So I feel like it's a relatively easy boss fight, but I absolutely love it. I think it's, I think it's so cool. Oh, it's interesting that we're technically over here. All right, so then now looking at this, so below the well and all this stuff is good. I fought the boss that was up here. Worshippers Woods are good. We went to the Merchant. All of the water is good. South River Riverbank is good. The well depths are good. Hollow horn grounds. Yeah, okay, so yeah, that was where we actually entered in. So I think we're done. I think we're done down here. So I guess we're now going to head to I guess we're gonna head to Liernia now. Uh and you know what might not be a bad idea though, is to quickly go to the round table hold. Um, just to, even though I can't upgrade my, my weapon, I'm still curious if maybe any dialogue has progressed. I don't think anything would have progressed in here. I don't think it will until I kill another, uh, yeah, until I ki kill, like, another demigod. I don't think that anything will progress with her. And then, I wonder if there's, while I have some runes, see if there's anything that I want to purchase here. Oh, yeah, so... Cure Poison? It might not be... Could be a good idea to purchase that. Purchase a Shockwave. But I guess... Really, Rot would be more useful for me... Right now. Oh, he does have some dialogue. Are you acquainted with a man named Roger? You know... The piteous fellow hiding away on the balcony. He was a formidable spellblade in times past. Don't let his easy air deceive you. He was wise beyond his years, stout of heart and clear of mind. No more, though. You see him now, ravaged by thorns, muttering and rambling, like he's half dead already. I can't stomach to watch. Take well the lesson, friend. That's how you end up when seduced by those who live in death. 
When grace is sullied, it rots people from the inside. Breaks them. So that's what's going on with him. Not that I even fully 100% understand, like, what he did. I'd be interested in all of Roger's lore. Always good to see his son. But, yeah, so that makes more sense. So he... He, I guess, messed with those who live in death. Sure to tell me if you, she's a servant, she's and messed with, as in... About to find as in, like, he allowed them to sort of seduce his thinking. So that's interesting. Is there anything I wanted to purchase here? So, the rune arcs, I've got to remember that those are here. And I've also got to remember the stone sword keys are here. I totally forgot that there were a couple of those here. Uh... There's also a longbow in case I need that. And then this, that should just naturally open when the time comes. And then everything for his dialogue should be the same for a while. Yeah, it's just still about each of the, each of the, the shard bearers that we're after. And then I do just want to quickly check a couple things over here, see if there's any dialogue here. Nope, nothing there. What about Master Hyog? And actually, let me still check. So yeah, I need four Smithing Stone threes, and only and I've only got two, so I can't I can't do anything with that yet. And then everything with her should also still be the same. Uh, no. Okay. And then the very last thing is I know that eventually Nefeli Lu shows up down here so i'm curious yeah i think it'll be a bit before she shows up here oh and actually i don't know that i ever used did i ever use a stone sword key no i didn't let me use one here it wouldn't let me for some reason the last time i was down here i remember i kind of forgot about that until just now that for some reason it, it just would not let me open the gate so let's see what we got better be worth it Assassin's Prayer Book. Oh, yeah, so I can give that to... What's-his-face? And let me read about it real fast, though. Prayer of the Round... Round Table holds Assassin's... Assassin's Approach and Darkness. Let's go give that to him now, because I'm curious what those are, and if they would be things that I would be interested in. I think usually, though, when you give him a prayer book, as far as I remember, just about every prayer book that I've ever given him, he says his whole spiel about how the book is a work of heresy and it's it has no uh, no bearing or no lineage to the Erd Tree or something like that. Further study of incantation. I can so let me give it to him real fast. Um, is a work it's a work of heresy. Of heresy. It's incantations bear no, lineage no lineage from the Erd Tree. Very well. I'll take it off your hands. Yeah, pretty sure he says that every time you give him any sort of prayer book. So, let's see. So, the one was Assassin's Approach. Silences footsteps, reduces fall damage, and sound. And then, Darkness. Creates area of darkness that conceals caster. Uh, creates a veil of darkness that conceals the caster. This incantation can be cast while in motion, motion and crouching. The Assassins were themselves once tarnished to had strayed from guidance and they pursued their duty in the darkness that is without grace. So I think right now, neither one of those are things that I'm super interested in. Uh, something else that I probably should do real fast, though, is I'm going to use probably most of my runes, uh, because after that fight, I do have enough stuff to probably get a level. Yeah, so I need like 3,000 more, maybe. So let's use... Maybe let's do four of these. That should that should get me there, and maybe even a little above. Yeah. Actually, probably more above than I wanted to be. That's probably a little bit of a waste. Yeah, because it's still a thousand. It's alright, though. Alright, so... I was thinking the other day, so... S strength is not... It's endurance that increases my max equipment load. So I think I should do some endurance, partially to get my max equipment load up, and partially just because of the fact that... I think I could do with some more endurance, for sure. Alright, so, Syophora is done. 
So now we're going to go over to the lake facing cliffs in Liurnia and start working our way through this. We're only going to get through a little bit of it today, but at least we can kind of kind of get this started. Bok the seamster at your service, master. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. All right, so I don't think there yeah, I was just checking if there was we're going so soon. Uh, please do be safe on your journeys. All right, yeah, I was just checking to see if he had any extra dialogue right now. It does not appear so. Yeah, so look at this. Like I said, I believe that this is the prettiest area in this game. I mean, this is absolutely freaking gorgeous. Like, it looks so, so good. So, when, I, when we got here quite a few episodes ago, initially, and grabbed this grace... I, of course, uh, I can't remember exactly what the, the order was of, of how I did it, but essentially once I had this area, um, I then ran and, and grabbed the map fragment that's here, uh, which is why I can, can see so much right now. So I grabbed the, the initial map fragment. I also talked to the NPC that's down in this church, went down to the merchant. So there's a couple of things that we've done very briefly here, but now we're going to do like the normal full obsessive exploration that I always do in these areas and uh, and really go through even these back corners and stuff like that and really check everything out. And so this is the door that 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 leads out of the back of Storm Stormvale Castle. So that is done. Nothing I need to worry about there. I'm just kind of checking through all of these bushes real fast before we move our way down the hill. Because a lot of this stuff immediately right here, at the very beginning of Lyurnia of the Lakes, I've, I've run past already. But when we did, it was it was just very quickly, just because I needed to get to a couple of things. Like, like I said, like the map fragment and the merchant. So none of this has really been checked over. But I do want to walk back into the church, probably while I'm here, and talk to Mr. Guy again. And just see if he has any other dialogue. I, I, I'm I 99% sure that he won't. Because nothing has really changed. Since the last time we were here. But. It'll still probably be good to, to pass on by him. See if he's got anything to say. And the thing is with him. Once we go in there I'll remember what his name is. I can't remember what his name is. But with him I've never followed his quest line to completion, I don't believe. Uh, it's so weird that that edge there technically brings you back into Stormhill. But yeah, I've never followed his quest line to completion, so that's something that I'd like to figure out how to do in this playthrough. Just just what, where you find him next, because I've only ever talked to him here in this church. So I don't really know what follows. Uh, so let's, uh, let's go talk to him again. Okay, yeah, so he's just... Alright, I've already purchased that stuff. He's just going to talk about the Glintstone Key. So that's that's all that he's got right now. So I think the next time that anything related to him happens is once I'm done with my Glintstone Key, which I haven't even found yet. We haven't gotten to that point. So once I've found my Glintstone Key and I've done everything with it that I need to do, I can bring it back and give it to him. And I think that that's the next time that anything happens with his quest line. But then past that, I don't I don't know what happens. Because I think that that's, that's all that I made it to with his quest line in the first playthrough. Because I didn't know where he went next. Is Came back, gave him the Glintstone key. He was like all appreciative and stuff. And, and then that was it. You know, I never, cra never crossed paths again. Well, look at that. See, it always pays to, to check obsessively and thoroughly. Because you never know when you're going to get an Urba. Who who knows when the next Urba will strike. When you'll get something super special. Like an Urba or even... Look, like even a piece of Roa fruit. Very, very special. I've, I've only got thousands of those at this point. Or like 1,500. So this gives us a side view of Stormvale Castle. And then that... 
That, once I get to the four belfries area, I think is what, or the three belfries area, I'll be able to actually go up there and check that out, because that's the initial place where you spawn into the game. But I'm pretty sure the three belf belfries is where you access it from again. So kind of along here, uh, what I want to do is I'm, I'm trying to check through all of this all of this stuff. I think probably the way that we'll wrap up today is I'm going to go up. This kind of hits a dead end. So we'll go through and explore all of this up to the dead end. And then we'll call it for today and continue on through Lyernia tomorrow. And I feel like for a, a decent amount of episodes now, we've kind of been in areas where... Maybe not a decent amount of episodes. I don't. I don't know. I just. I feel like it's been a little while since we've been in just an area where I was like, "All right, we're just exploring everything here." Because we've been. We were in Stormvale Castle, and for the most part, that's like. It's. It's not just. Open world stuff to deal with, and then we were briefly in Kalid, but I was kind of just in that back section where the the minor Erd tree is. And then, then we were down in Syofra, and that's kind of closed off. So now we're back in an area where it's just going to be going to be back to a bunch of, of checking the bushes and and making sure that not a single stone is left unturned. And uh, and so that's that's what we're headed back into now. So I hope you're ready. Hope you are ready for obsessive and detailed and deep exploration. We're gonna get deep into this game, my friends. It's not even gonna it's not even gonna know what hit it. Cause we're gonna find all the things. And I'm gonna deal with Oh shoot. You are you are a, a crazy one, aren't you? Oh, he's actually pretty strong. Holy crap. Ooh. I maybe should go and deal with this guy. Or both of these guys real fast. Crap. Crap! Hit the guy on the ground. He's just going to respawn. Frick. Did I get him? I did get him. Okay, cool. Dang it. I didn't... I didn't know that that's what was happening. I didn't realize that those explode. Okay, can you stop with that? Please? Alright, I want to get this guy real fast. There we go. Okay. Alright. Panicking a little bit there. It's alright, though. Dang it. He's kind of stuck. I think he's stuck between all that. So I'm just going to heal real fast. And uh, here's here's what we're going to do. How would you like a fireball? Oh, he made it out. Didn't, didn't work as well as planned. Oh, and that doesn't even really do much against him. He is a strong guy. How much you get for him? You get... Oh, that's right. I got to do this too. 170, that's it? He was a big boy. My goodness. I was not... I was not expecting him to be quite so strong. So that right down there... So we, we've run through that camp before. And I kind of grabbed some stuff. And then right down in the trees... Those initial trees is where... Uh, is where the map fragment was. So that's as, that's as far as we've run so far. And see, not only do I think that this is the prettiest area in the game... Just because of, of, of the colors and the overall atmosphere and all that. And I love, like, the, the magic aspect of it. I think that it, it just creates a really cool vibe. I love the music in this area. I think that this this area has has really cool music. Because it's, there's, it's kind of happy while also maybe being, like, a, a slight bit... Or happy and kind of relaxing while also maybe being a slight bit unsettling. Uh, which is just, I don't know, it's just its just a cool area overall. Like, everything here is super cool. And I'm really excited. It'll be a few episodes before we get there. But I'm really, really excited to go through uh, Rhea Lucaria. And, and uh, going through the Academy. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Because that is one of the coolest major dungeons in the game. Is Rhea Lucaria. So that's going to be sweet, but again, it's going to be a while before we get there. So let's clear this out, too. We still got a little bit of time left in this episode, so I'll clear this this graveyard area out as well before moving on. And they're going to do all this crap again. 
Luckily, it doesn't look like there's a, a big, big strong boy here this time, though. So that's good. Should probably heal before this kills me. I can't hit this guy. Thank you very much. Are you? Would you stop it with your rancer call nonsense? Thank you. Ooh, an academy scroll. Wait a second. Okay, so is that? That's to learn more. So great glintstone shard and swift glintstone shard. Sweet. So I think I'm going to go back to Selen and give her that. I don't really want to give What's-His-Face. I should have checked his name when I was in there, so I don't just keep referring to him as the guy in the church. Uh, I want to... Maybe before we end the episode, we'll actually go back and talk to Sorceress Selen and give her that. Because uh, I'd like to get... Like, the large glintstone shard would be sweet to have. So... Let me just clear out this little section of land. I'm going to run through, make sure there's no other items. And then we'll go back to Liernia real fast and give her that. And uh, and if I can't afford the Great Glenstone Shard, it's not a problem. I've got tons of golden runes in my inventory. So it's going to be completely, totally, 110% fine. And, uh, and what was the... It said there was another thing that that scroll allows you to learn. I don't remember what the other thing was though, but uh, that would be that would be nice having the the Great Glenstone Shard would be nice because of the fact that I haven't I, I would say that I've used the the Glintstone Pebble somewhat consistently, but overall I really like to use it, and even the Glintstone Pebble does decent damage. So I think having the upgraded version of that is going to be very very nice. All right, so I think that that's everything here. This whole little graveyard section has been explored. Everything up there has been explored, so next we'll have to go actually down the path. So I think we'll we'll do that tomorrow. So, and then I, yeah, I checked through all of this earlier. So let's go back to Limgrave real fast and talk to Sorceress Selen. I'd been kind of wanting to go back and talk to her anyway, because uh, I'm wondering if she has any more dialogue. But then I can also give her this uh, scroll. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? Uh, Alright, so let's give this to her. The academy oh, scroll. That a scroll. Takes me back to my academy days. Very well. Hmm, this is sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. I'll be sure to incorporate it into one of your lessons. Never lose that inquisit. Okay, so she just repeats that each time. Alright, so the Glintstone Pebble I already bought. Swift Glintstone Shard. One of the Glintstone Sorceries of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. The Glintstone serves as a conduit. We know that. Uh, this sorcery can be used without delay after performing another action. Those unworthy of the Stone Crown typically end their brief journey into sorcery here so swiftly fires magic projectiles so i guess yeah you can do another action and then quickly fire it and then we've got this one this sorcery can be cast repeatedly so this is a larger version of that i'd kind of like the swift glenstone shard as well i guess but maybe for now we'll just go with the great glenstone shard so let me I think it costs 2,000. So I think if I just pop one of these, that should be good. Should be able to get it. You and then I will well. allocate it or memorize it real fast. Oh, I need 16 intelligence, though. Okay, that that might be okay. How many, how many runes could I get from all the stuff I've got? Probably not enough. But if I at least go ahead and pop all of these, then as we progress through Liernia... I'll be, I should be able to pretty quickly get all the runes that I need to be able to do the next level and then be able to actually memorize this. Oh, but this, who knows, this might end up being enough. Let's see, because I've got 12 of these and then 25 of the other ones. So that's 4,800 right there. I might be just under. Let's see, it'd be so sick if I could actually level right now. Is that going to be enough? Oh, man, not quite enough. So tomorrow we'll be able to actually level and get that that new sorcery memorized, which will be great. I'm actually really excited about that. 
because uh, one of the things is I've I've talked a lot about how I haven't utilized like this is the first playthrough where I've heavily utilized sorceries, and so I don't know that I've ever used the the. So this is the glintstone pebble. I don't know that I've ever used the great glintstone thingy shard or whatever. So I'm curious how much more damage that does. So that'll be super awesome to check that out next episode. So I think we're going to wrap here. Uh, tomorrow we will begin working our way all the way down this path and uh, hopefully level up intelligence as well so I can memorize that sorcery. And, uh, yeah, so that's going to do it for today. So if you enjoyed this episode, I would highly appreciate it if you would leave a like, maybe a comment, and also hit subscribe. So thank you so much for checking out this episode, and I will talk to you tomorrow.